Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, last time around, we did power up the fusion power, and ever since then, the fusion power has been running down here quite loudly. Love it. And power is, well, we're good for power for a while. We don't need to worry for power for quite some bit. But in the meantime, I have been working on extending the space platform over here. This is where we're going to be doing astronomic science. And I'm also kind of have been looking at how much um, astrometric data we're going to need. And I'm just going to walk you right through it real quick because it's actually not that complicated of a calculation. Basically, we can see over here to make one catalog per second uh, of um, extended astronomic data, which is basically the tier four. We are going to need one astronomic data over here and then one negative pressure data over here. One negative pressure data is almost one. I'm just going to count it as one just for now. So we basically need two for 75%. So if we just round this up, we need three per second to make one per second dark energy data. Then for the micro black hole data over here, we don't need any at all. So that's fine. We can just ignore that. For the zero point energy data, we need... Uh, negative pressure data, which we do get back, so we can cycle it. And negative pressure data, yet again, is we need a little bit more than one. I'm just going to count it as one. So three, four per second for the tier four catalog. The asteroid belt probe data over there does not even require them. I think we have to check that up, but let's go with four for now. We're going to see. Then for the tier three catalog, which is over here, we're going to need dark matter data, which is gravitational lensing data which is basically one astrometric data, so five per second. Then negative pressure data is yet again, almost one astrometric data again. So six, we could round it up to seven. We will probably round it up to seven soon. Um, as we go to the negative pressure, wait, we, we already did that, didn't we? Um, no, we need that again. <laughs> it can be kind of confusing. So we need eight. Let's round it up to nine. It'll be fine. Nine is fine. Tier two catalog over here requires gravitational lensing data which is basically, yet again, one astronomical data per second. So now we're at 10. And gravimetric data over there, which is... This one is a little bit more. This one we need at least four of, give or take. So now we're at 14. That is perfectly fine. And then all the way at the end of the day, we need one more over here for the astronomical data. So basically... And that's a very, very rough calculation because it's, it's not an exact calculation. But we are going to go for 15... What are they called again? Astrometric data per second per catalog per second. So if you want to do four catalogs per second, we have to make 60 astrometric data per second. And that is what we are going with. Now, did I pick up? No, we're still missing one of the key elements. Let's pick it up real quick. We're missing one of the telescopes because it seems we were not making radars over here. But we are now. So we need to pick up the radiometric. There we go. The radio telescope. Good. So let's figure out how big or how complicated the build will be to make the yellow belts or up to four yellow belts per second of the astrometric data over here. Now, one of these over here already per natural makes one per second. That's already pretty good. If we put in, can we, what can we put in? We can only put speed modules in. So we are going to be putting in some speed modules. And then let's get ourselves. Actually, let's, let's go down here before we do that over there. Because down here, we got beacons and stuff like that. And we got power. And we can just place this thing down. And then try to figure out how fast it has to go. Good. You over there. Maybe inside of the beacon. Thank you very much. Here we go. And here we go. And you will have a crafting speed of 5.6 again. Which is fine. So you basically already make 5.6 astrometric data per second. So to make a yellow belt of these, we need only three of these. We're going to go with three of these to make the yellow belt. Or 12 of these to fill up one green belt. So we could start off with that. Just make a very simple build. It's going to be something like this. Yeah, three, six, three, six, twelve. That is one part we are going to be needing. Let's put it over there in the corner just for later. Now we do need to make, if we've got 12 of those, uh, or if we have a crafting speed of 60 in total, yes, yeah, 60, then we are going to need 60 infrared observation data every 20 seconds. Or, if we turn it around, 3 infrared observation data per second. Just to feed this machine. Now, let's start with that. We do need things like you. And we do need you. This thing is rather large. Uh, this thing is also rather large. 
these all probably have the same crafting speeds, but nevertheless, just to make sure that we have everything over here on the ready and on the go. Yeah, get it out there. Here we go. Good. Let's start off with you. You can start with the infrared. There we go. Uh, we can put in speed modules. You will have a crafting speed of 11.2. That's nice and fast. 11.2 would mean that we make about a little bit over two infrared observation frames per second. So two of these will be enough to supply us with the three infrared observation data we need to fire up this whole thing. So one, two. Then next step. Yeah, that's a one to one. Perfect. Uh, next step is going to be the visible observation data. Same thing. Um, this one has the same crafting speed, which is good. So again, 11.2. We're basically making a little bit more than two. You know what? Here. One, two. Done. And then, of course, the UV observation data. This also has the same crafting speed. Then we don't need to worry about it too much. I'm going to put down one, two. There we go. Perfect. Then, next step, maybe you. You are a unique one of an air. We have you at the crafting speed of, let's fire you up, 5.6. Okay. That means you make, if we are very, very generous, just under 1.5 per second. We do need our three per second. So we are going to have to go with three of you. Three of you will be fine. If we make it a little bit over, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We just want this machine to be running and operational. Good. Uh, we need none of these, but we do need you over there. Same thing. Crafting speed 5.6. Crafting time 4 seconds. Crafting time 4 seconds. Absolutely same result of a year ago. We're going to need like three of these. One, two, three. All right, all right. And then we got you down there for the gamma ray observation. We do need the gamma ray detector for that as well. We have to keep that in mind. And you over there, you are a bit different. Did I actually calculate this correctly? Let me just double check one more time. Uh, I didn't pay the most of attention, but yes. Yeah, you are very different because you make 12 in a batch. Your crafting speed over here is going to be 5.6. Uh, in general, you make 0 0.75 per second. At the crafting speed of 5.6, that's about 4. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> it's about 4. Um, that's actually good. Wait, what? 0 0.75 times the crafting speed of 5.76. That is pretty much 4. So one of these will be fine. Mostly fine. There we go. All right. That's actually less... Big and annoying and crazy as I thought it would be. That's pretty doable. As for the cooling liquid, most of this is cool. Or cold, I think, not cool. And some of it is very cold. But we can start to sketch it out a bit. Maybe we can even get our cooling systems integrated. Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Place it down again. Good. <laughs> Let's start off with you. This is going to be the important one. We could definitely do something like um, the beacon over here. Maybe try to place it like this. All the way at the bottom. And then also maybe spread them apart a little bit further. Mm, is that going to be... Yeah, that's going to be correct. And then... Let's just remove these real quick. And then we do the flip. Here we go. So that's the maximum distance this beacon over here reaches. I'm not quite sure if I can get... Well, let's maybe start the big ones first. Mm, I mean, the big ones could be going over here at the... Ooh, that, that might just fit. That might just fit. Here we go. That is a perfect match over there. And then you over there. Uh, not like that. <laughs> More like that. Yes. We could even go down by one. We should go down by one. Same for you. Is that not too low? No, that's perfect. Okay, everything over here is being reached by the beacon. And we can easily get this in. The I'm, I'm a little bit surprised how, how well this works. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence. Of course, one big issue uh, is going to be this thing over there. Uh, as it does require 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inputs. Um, yes, eight inputs, eight inputs. That could be an issue. 
However, if we do it kind of smart, hmm, I see some options. I see some options. All right, all right, all right. The input problem over here is, of course, the 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 bad one. Also, we have one output. So eight inputs. We can do that in four belts. No problem. Um, we can have one belt over there. Four belts is a bit hefty. However, if we maybe just move them and jiggle them around a little bit, maybe we can find a good way of doing four belts. But that will not be good for four belts. I'm kind of thinking of maybe just putting them further down over here. Uh, here, go back to a distance of one. Let's rotate these real quick and then add two more. Oh, not like that. That's, that's horrible. There we go. Here we go. And remove all of these real quick. And then... Maybe place you over there. Yes. And then this one over there goes down by one. Good. Because then we have all the space over here for belts. All the space over here for belts. And that could work. But then we still need to get these boys in. Now this one over there. Uh, this one could just sit over here all the way at the bottom. Uh, oh, not that far down. Ooh. We have less space than you might think. And two of these over there. Two of these over there. Two of these maybe over here. And then one of these over there or something like that. Maybe maybe switch these around. There we go. Now, we, of course, we don't need to get all of this in one beacon, but uh, I kind of see a way to do it. And now my brain just goes like, Bolt, 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 please, whatever you do, get that in there. It will look amazing. <laughs> And then I just have to go like, all right, I'll do it. Mm, we still have some space to jiggle. This thing over the air can go up by... That's too far. Go down by two. That's too far. Go up by one. That's perfect. Let's just cut this real quick so that we can make it symmetrical. There we go. Because then we could maybe place you. Ooh. Different cooling liquid, but same output. Okay, okay, okay. If you have the same cooling liquid as these, then you should be on this side. There we go. And if you have the same cooling liquid as these... Okay, these over there are also very, very cold. That should be fine. But we can just move these together if we please. Let's try something like this. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now, belts. We did say something like eight belts. I mean, the eight inputs, that could be here. We just need to get everything over here like this. So that might be a bit overkill because we can't really reach that far. We do have long head inserters and we can do some some stretch mechanics and some stretch, uh, stress, uh, not stress, stretch uh, builds. You need to go for the air. But it feels to me like this over here would be the better answer. And, of course, if we want to get the stuff out, we can move you down. We can move you down. Actually, move you down by two. Move you down by two. Move you down by at least this amount and this amount. Maybe even one more. That will be fine. This will be compressing it again a bit. But we can wiggle an output belt with that. And then just extendo this over here. And then we have something, 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 something like this. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. All right, all right, all right. Now, for outputs, this will be half a belt, half a belt, half a belt. Wait a minute, am I missing something? Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the data chips, okay, the data chips, that's the other one. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm, I am missing one. Who am I missing? <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. X-ray. We're definitely missing the X-ray observation data. Um, I never picked that one up, or we never made it. We're definitely missing one. That will definitely change the thing. Wait, did we place it down over the air? No, we did not. But the X-ray observation one is a blue telescope. So let's have a quick peek over here. Did I not pick up you? I guess I never picked up you. I guess we just skipped the first one. So be it. So be it. 
All right, uh, let's put it down real quick just to have a look at what its crafting speed it will be. But I can already, uh, I think I already know the answer. It's 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 going to be the same as all the others. Yes, it is. Uh, we can place you over there. Extra observation data. Make it go fast, and then it's five point six. How many of these do we need? Uh, this one's a bit different, but you do make one X-ray per second, and a craft speed of five point six is definitely more than the three that we need. So that will be fine. That will be fine. All right, that does make things different all right good 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 all right i'm processing stuff one moment please um it should be fine i mean one issue of course is well we can feed this from the top let's maybe start with the outputs the outputs the outputs can be all the way over here we don't really care about the outputs that much. The outputs can be all the way over there. Where we put them on the inside like this. Then we go around. And then we go just a little bit further up. Over. And then this will be one of the inputs down here. For example, this one. You move you out real quick. And not only that, we could also go around over here. And then around like this, and you'll be the other input over there. And then this thing over here is done like that. Then we don't need to worry about that one. We can do the exact same thing over here for this part, where your output over there will be going like this. Then we're going to have these two, for example, sitting over there. I'm just going to use these two real quick. We do the exact same thing. Shovel up to the input belt or the inside belt. You go over there, you go over there. You go all the way down. We go all the way over and then back up. And then these inputs over here are done, done, done. Perfect. No, don't need to worry about them. We are completely finished with these. Then the only thing we've left is this two. And this two. As well as... Ah, there's one extra over here. I see. Good. Now, we can place you still over there. Uh, as you are still in range of this thing. And we can output on the belt, say, over here. No problem. Uh, we can also output on a same or similar belt with these two. And now we need to be a little bit careful about the liquids over here. This is going to be a bit tight. A very bit tight. Um, did we copy them or did we move them? We picked them up, these two. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. It's gonna be a bit of a weird build. The only thing we need, we, we do need to keep in mind that we do need to give all of these observation frames as well. <laughs> and these over there, they have some extra inputs, but we got enough space over there to do the extra outputs. That will be fine. But over here, we do need to be a little bit more creative. We can definitely squeeze them in like this. And then do the same thing over here again. There we go. That could work. And then we can do some magic with the output belt over there. Then the only thing we would need is... What is this output? This output over there does not exist like that. At least not for now. The output over here could be something like... Um, if we use loaders, we can do something like this. But then we have a full belt. Full belt is not so bad. We pull you all the way over there. And then we get you over there. Then we kind of want to make this a half and half belt. We could still make it a half and half belt if we do it like this. There we go. Left side. Yeah, there we go. Left side, right side. On you go. Perfect. And then you get a little underground over there. We go over. We go in. And then we get one of them down. This one over here will have a loop like this. And then it will stop over there somewhere. Good. That's one down. Excellent. And then if we can manage to do the same thing over here, we will be fine. Now, of course... Okay, we can move these along a little bit. We do need to make space over here for the pipes, which over here is already going to be a bit creative, but we can do undergrounds like this over here, which, of course, need to go the other way. To get access to these two together. Same thing over there. There we go. There we go. 
As for the cold pipe over here, we can probably do some magic over here. Uh, I think it will be fine for the cold pipe. Good, 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 good. Okay, these two are done. These two are done. And then these two are the last two remaining, which will then also combine up with the tech cards input. But we can do the exact same thing over here again. Like... Where, where did we put you? Okay, we put you somewhere completely different. Let's, let's just cut this all up real quick. We can put this belt down again later on. There we go. There we go. So you from here, you would be on this side. A distance of three. This side. There we go. And then on that side. There we go. But then why did we even go under over here? It's a distance of... It's a distance of two, not three. There we go. Good. Then we have this one again. Like this. And this one over there is not affected yet. It will be later. We definitely need to move you up by one. We definitely need to move you up by one. We need to dig over here again. We need to dig over there again. As we have an underground over here, an underground over there. So that we can connect up to this heat pipe over there. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. And we have enough space over here to actually this, this belt over here. Yeah, we, we can wiggle in over here the, what's it called again? the uh, observation frame belt. That will be fine. Good. Then we do the same thing over here. Uh, you go out over here like this. And then... For this one, actually, it doesn't really matter if we go on... All, on actually, we do need to go on half and half belt. We go all the way up. At some point in time, we get an input from the sides. Maybe over here, like this. With the tech cards. And then we go all the way down. We go around. And we go back up. And then we basically are done. That's at least for the inputs. Then, of course, these guys over here, they have an output. And I kind of did say we weren't going to use the in the inside belt over here. Uh, we can do it super duper creative. Let's make it... I already started the wrong way around. <laughs> so, down, yeah. Down like this. Up like this. Around we go. Like this. Over here, we need to do a curve like this, a curve like that. And then we go down like this. Then a curve like this, a curve like this. And then we go around like this. These two are too close. Oh, no. Um, that's still fine. We can... We can move. We can move. There should be enough space for you to move. But it, it, it will kind of curse everything a little bit. Here we go. Move you on down. Because you need to be over there. These over here will not be affected. Oh, God. These, these belts are all going up, down, left, right, center. It's, it's super confusing. Here we go. But... Yeah, the bottom machine over there is now no longer affected. Oh, no, 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 no. And the reason for that is these over here are a bit too high. There we go. You remove all of this real quick. This, this will only get in our way. This whole thing is off. <laughs> no! How is this whole thing off? This whole thing over here needs to be higher over here. Yep, like this. And this whole thing over here needs to be on this height. And you over there need to be on that height. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then you need to be down by one. You need to be down by one. Does that hit? That hits. Perfect. Okay, now, now it works. Now it works. Uh, we do have to double and triple check over here if we broke stuff. We probably did break quite a bit. But it should be fine. Okay, then we're back over here to this belt. This is going to be the magic belt that goes around. Pinging everything. And then we continue over there. Um, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I was thinking in terms of green belt. 
we don't have green belt where we're going. We only got white belt. And white belt is 45 items per second. And this whole thing over here makes 60. So we do not connect like this. We do not connect like this. You can already see what, what the plan is over here. Um, we just have to kind of reverse this whole thing around. I'm, I'm just going to pick it up real quick. And then we're just going to have like two output belts starting over here from the middle. Or we could maybe even make it more simple. Maybe we can... Oh, that will be easier. Here, start with you, down, you, you, up. Do the classic snake. You can just do the Nokia build. There we go. Okay, we have a bit of an issue over there, but that's fine. Nope, oh, that was a little bit too much. Here we go. <laughs> you can see where the inserters will be going. And then we do the same thing over there. We just do the Nokia build. And we also don't need to worry about going across and around. We just go up, down, left, right. Oh. Here we go. Go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. And same thing over there. Ta-da! That should work. That should work. We still have to get power poles in here as well. That's going to be gruesome. Good, 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 good. I love it. I love it. Now, there's one more thing we might need to think and uh, keep in mind. And that's one thing I kind of did ignore for a bit. We do need quite a bit of blank data cards. But then again, the Mac... Okay, a, a single half belt of blank data cards is probably not going to be enough. We can revive the line. But if we are going to go at a crafting speed of 60 over here, um, or if we're going to need like 3 per second, we're going to need 39 blank data cards per second. Yeah, that's not going to fly on the half belt. Half belt is 22.5. So what we could do over here, um, we go in over there, we go down, we go around, and by this point over here, we need to revive it. We could try something completely different hmm i mean we already have a half and half belt going like this yeah we can do this one a little bit different we can just say that this one over there will be your output for this part actually even better no 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 even better even better we don't need to make it too complicated we get two belts out of there that's fine that's perfectly fine let's remove these real quick let's turn you around let's pull you down and then we end somewhere say over here that's fine and then we can just do the classic the very classic here you get an input like this you get an input like that the data cards will be coming in from over there somewhere um you go out and you go out here we go you're going like this you're going like that and that's that that will be working fine that will give us enough data cards to keep this thing over here afloat and to keep it running so that will all be connected as well good all right, and then only the pipes. But for the pipes, I don't really see much of an issue with the pipes. Uh, we can definitely connect up all the heat output pipes together as we see fit. The cold pipes over here should be fine. And then these over here should also be fine. I think we got this one. And we fit it all inside. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> we almost fit it all inside. Wait a minute. Uh, we, we can just move this up. Um, Here we go. Just, just, just... <laughs> Move it up a bit. <laughs> Good old revelations like, it's all fitting. And then you go like, no, it's not. Um, all right, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there. And then this thing over there, you move up as well. Place it somewhere over there. Good. Here we go, and then we don't need this, and we do need that, and that, and this. All right, now it fits. <laughs> now it fits in all of one beacon. Now, why do we do it in all in one beacon and not maybe make some more beacons and just don't have a hassle of it? I don't know, but this thing looks cool. That's the important part. Now, I don't see much of an issue of putting the, the remaining pipes in. That should be fine. I also don't really see much of an issue in putting in the remaining inserters, but I will try to do so. And if we do have an issue, then you will know that in the next episode. Nevertheless, that will be it for me for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. 
every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around!